All right, on this, we're getting the second derivative. So if we take the first derivative, we got, it's a, a y, so we have to do, we have to tack on a dy dx. So we have 8y to the first power, and then tack on a dy dx. Uh, and then the 2 goes away because it's a constant, and then that equals 6x. Divide both sides by 8y. And then we have dy dx equals... Uh, divide by 2, that would be 3 fourths. So 3x over 4y. And then here we're trying to find d squared y dx squared. That's the second derivative. So we'll use the quotient rule. So d uh, squared y dx squared. That'll be low d high. So low d high minus high uh, minus 3x d low. That'd be 4 uh, dy dx, because the derivative of y is just 1, and you tack on a dy dx. Low d high minus high d low all over low squared, so 4 over y squared. I'm going to simplify a tiny bit. I'll have 12y minus 12x dy dx, but the instructions were saying, and that's a 16y squared because you kind of distribute the exponent. But the instructions were saying they want it only in terms of x and y, and we have it in terms of x, y, and the derivative of y. So we can replace this with uh, 3x over 4y. So I'll have uh, 12y minus 12x times 3x over 4y. And then I'm going to simplify it since I'm making a video about it. Uh, this would be 12y, this would become x squared, so we have 12 times 3 is something, 12 times 3 is, what's 12 then? 36, got it, and that's x squared over 4y, I guess I could have reduced that part, over 16y squared, I'm just going to keep going, 12y, 36 divided by 4 is 9, so minus 9x squared, over y divided by 16y squared. I don't think you can factor out anything from there. That's it. That's all that I would do now. It's in terms of x and y, and we're done, and I'm done.